Courtesy of ESPN's KJM, what should the Browns do with quarterback position moving forward? Their defense is not bad. You know, it's, no. they've got guys on that side of the ball that can do enough to win football games right now if you had better quarterback play. Mm -hmm. So who does the guy become? And who are you looking at? If I'm Cleveland, I am looking long and hard at trying to figure out if I can pry Derek Carr away from the Raiders, who only has one year left on his deal, if the Raiders are going to be looking to go in another direction, Harry. He's only making 19.8 next year. Yeah. And if I had to give away a first-round pick to get Derek Carr, and I felt like I had a chance to win, Derek Carr... With the Cleveland Browns, he absolutely can win there. Yeah, I'll say Derek Carr, and not just him. I'll say Kirk Cousins as well. And I understand Kirk Cousins has had his struggles in the National Football League, but Kevin Stefanski, their head coach and guy who calls their plays, he's very familiar with Kirk Cousins, and I think Kirk Cousins would be a major upgrade over Baker Mayfield because you got to look at it. You all, they have the pieces in place in it. Uh, with, with this football team, with the Cleveland Browns, defensively, offensively, they have everything in place. Right now, they just need great quarterback play or a decent quarterback play. Let's welcome in Tim Bielek, uh, reporter for the Plain Dealer and Cleveland.com. And Tim, um, Carr, Cousins, meh. I'm not excited. I'm not jumping up and down about them. Are they an upgrade? Maybe over the way Baker's playing currently? Yeah, I think there's a lot of guys in the NFL that are upgrade over this Baker Mayfield. And when I say this Baker Mayfield, I'm talking about the Baker Mayfield where he's wearing a harness on his left shoulder that's restricting the motion in that arm and his ability to throw with good mechanics. And when you don't have good mechanics as a quarterback, it's really hard to, to succeed unless you have a guy like Patrick Mahomes. But I've, I've been a believer that, you know, what's going on with Baker has a lot to do with that shoulder. I know it's not necessarily causing it's causing him pain, but it's also affecting him mechanically. And the reason he keeps playing is because the Browns clearly still believe he gives them the he gives the team the best chance to win, which makes a lot of sense. I know Case Keenan played the Denver game he won, but he wasn't particularly impressive in that game. Baker still has a high ceiling, but those injuries and just so many factors around him where really the operation has never been together for more than a half of football this entire season all that stuff kind of comes together. And it's easy to say the quarterback is supposed to overcome all that, but sometimes there's just too much to overcome. And we got to we got to remember, Baker Mayfield is only in his fourth season in the NFL. This isn't like a 12-year veteran or whatever. He's, he's still kind of getting his feet wet in, you know, NFL career terms. Well, and when you point to Kirk Cousins, there's, you know, Adam Thielen, Justin Jefferson. I don't, so, I don't see anybody in the Browns receiving core that's the equivalent of, of either one of those two. Not even close. And I, I think that's where, you know, he's got to get some help. I mean, I've said before the best, even the best quarterbacks need help. And that's what I think this off season has got to be directed to is getting Baker healthy and giving him some weapons that are legitimate and can help elevate any quarterback because there was talk not long ago that Kirk Cousins was a very, a very mech quarterback as well. And then all of a sudden you give him Adam Thielen and Justin Jefferson. He looks really good. R great receivers really help a quarterback as much as anybody does, I think. 